Hello friends, Satyendra here and in this video, let's see that how can we save a Creo file without adding any new version. So let's get started. And for that, I have opened one stop valve body part here. And this part is getting access from my working directory. And if I go to my working directory, this is my working directory. And I have only one version of this part. But if I do any changes in this part and save, Creo will generate one new version for the same part. So let's try it. So here in this part, I will do some changes and I will save it. So I'm deleting this top hole, the complete top hole. And I will save this part. The moment I save this part and go to my working directory, I see here a second version of same part. So this version is having all the changes saved. So whenever I want the same part back, I can use the first version and I can get it back. So let's try it. So now I have two version of the same part and if I go for open and tools and if I select all versions, I can see that there are two versions here. If I click on version one and zoom this part, I can see that all holes are available here. But once I have modified and created version two, the holes are missing here. So using this version, I can open the previous version once again. And how to do this? So to do this, just cancel this part and erase from your memory. And then go for open, tools, all version. And now you can select the first version and you can say open. Now if you see, you have all the holes. Once again you say, now this is the second time we saved the same part. So if I go to my working directory once again, I can see here the third version generated by Creo. So now you can understand that each save in Creo generates one new version. And these versions helps whenever you want to open the previous version part. So somehow these versions helps a lot. But in some cases, if we don't want to create these versions while saving, then we can do some settings. And to do this, go to file, option, Configuration Editor, Find, and here you search for Save. Find now. Now here you scroll down and look for Save File Addresses. By default the value will be Yes, make it No. Add Changes, Close, OK, and save it to your config file. Once it is done, now go for New Part. Write some name. Say OK and create a new part. Now I'm just creating a block. Say OK. And let it be 150. Say OK. Now this is done, save it. Now I'm saving the same working directory. Block part, say OK. Now I'll do some changes here. I will go for extrude. Say OK. And I'm creating a cutout here. So I've done the changes here. Now once again I'll save. Now if I go to my working directory, I can see that this block part is the only one version. There is no version number coming over here. So now if you save this part multiple times, it won't create any version number here. So it will be a single part here, always. But after the same setting, if I save this top wall body part once again, then what will happen? So let us find out. Now save this part once again. Go back to working directory. Now you can see that this part got one more version. So now you can understand that after doing this setting, this works only for new part. It doesn't work for existing part. So the concept is when you create a new part, it doesn't have the version number here. So it keeps saving on the same part. But once you got the version number here, it will start adding a new version in each save. But in case, if I have an existing part which is having version number here, 
and I don't need a new version in, in my next save. So how can we do this? Or is there any way to get the same result for existing part? So the answer is yes, there is one more way to get the same result for existing part. So let's do this. But before that, let's have a small break. And do not forget to like this video and subscribe my channel. Thank you. And to do this, first I'll go to my part. And here I'll close this part, this part, erase. Now I'll go back to my working directory. So here I'll delete all the versions and I will keep only one version. So you can leave any one and delete others. So in this case, I will delete this last three. And I leave this. You can leave your final one or whichever one you want. Once you have one version, rename it and remove this version number. Say yes. Now open this part in your create parametric. Open stub all body. Open. Now you do some changes here. Let's add one new round. Here, here, and here. Say OK. Now I have done some changes. Now you save it. Now you go back to your working directory and check it. Now when you come here, you don't find any new iteration or any new version here. That means once you remove the version number from here, it doesn't create new versions in every save. So this way you can utilize this option for existing part and if you are creating a new part then it will directly work. So the whole concept is once you have done this setting you should not have version number after this part. So if you have existing part rename it and if you are creating a new part it will directly work. But always remember that this option only works when you are working locally on your hard disk. If you are working through windchill then it will not work. So this was the whole idea about how to avoid new version addition while saving a part. And I hope this video will be helpful. And don't forget to like this video and subscribe my channel. Thank you. So this is it guys. Now like this video if the video is helpful. Share this video with your friends. And subscribe my channel for further updates.